She's the queen of frogs. An inspiration to artists everywhere. She's the animation icon, Tootie McNooty. <laughs> so guess what I'm gonna do, Rich? You're gonna draw her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, somebody's ja a happy baby. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna make her into an epic warrior froggy princess lady. <laughs> what? Is there a problem with that? <laughs> what? What exactly? <laughs> kind of episode you having over there? So I'm making her armor very like light and movable, so she can jump around like a like a frog. <laughs> and of course, she needs a sword. She be looking sly. So rich. What color should her outfit be? Orange. No. <laughs> It's green! <laughs> it's frogs! Our froggy princess is done. And I know what you're thinking. She's the frog princess. Where are her frogs? <laughs> <laughs> Tootie, we've named your steed Henry. Yeah. I'm gonna draw YouTube as a person. Let's jump right in with a nice sketch. So here's what I'm thinking for the, the tubes man. Yep, nope, never, never gonna say that <laughs> sentence again. Ever again. <laughs> YouTube would be like pretty tubes, cool. Man. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Gotta give him some nice headphones because I love me some YouTube Let's Plays. I'm also gonna give him like a, a skater prankster vibe. Also gonna give him a nice ring light because, you know, those, those silly YouTubers <laughs> with their ring lights. So silly. Rich. Huh? What, what color should YouTube's hair be? Uh, uh, brown. Red. Uh, <laughs> you're just doing this to mess with me at this point. You know it should be red. And of course, YouTube's gonna have perfect eyebrows because, you know, all those tutorial videos. Are you guys ready to see this video reveal of this video streaming service's video character? <laughs> Here he is. It's the YouTube. Tubes man. I hate you. I hate you. What do you guys think? Would you put, <laughs> would you put a like on this YouTube video? You guys. What if Disney villains became princesses? And who better to start with than Jafar, you, you sassy bean? <laughs> I mean, let's let's be honest here. Jafar already has like way more eyeliner <laughs> than any Disney princess. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying, Jafar would be the one helping everybody do their makeup in the morning. Not to mention, his sorcerer power would put him like right up there with Elsa. Instead of a twisted beard, let's give him twisted no hair. No beard. Oh, no beard. So since Jafar is a Disney princess, he's not gonna be like evil. No, no. Jafar is a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. And nothing screams independence like a cape. <laughs> and a red cape at that. Like, this is a statement piece. Are you guys ready to see Jafar Disney Princess? <laughs> did Jafar just become my new favorite Disney princess? Like, did that really just happen? Like, I would follow this woman to the end of the earth. She can have my life. Why couldn't you be like this? Why? Let's draw something random. And who is that someone gonna be? A Karen. Oh, <laughs> God. I'm so scared. What's Karen doing? As a <laughs> so somehow this seems like the perfect job for a Karen. You know what? Maybe it's a good thing, right? Like, we got all these Karens with nothing better to do. Just send them over to the WWE. <laughs> None of these pro wrestling outfits quite have that, that Karen vibe. <laughs> True strength does not come from her muscles, no, no. It comes from the sense of entitlement dripping from her ever-gaping mouth. And of course she has to have nice boots for all the employees she's gonna step all over so they'll let her use an expired coupon. I'm the expired coupon lady. I come out at night and throw expired coupons all over the store. Let's see, we have the Karen haircut. The uncontrollable rage. What am I missing? I want the manager now. And you can find the generator link in my bio. Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. <gasps> <laughs> so which characters am I going to be combining? Ooh, Edna Mode! <laughs> oh, who is lucky enough to be combined? Patrick! <laughs> I have no idea how I'm going to do this! So for those that don't know, I have to somehow combine this... <laughs> <laughs> this is like mixing caviar and jello pudding. Like, it's just going to confuse everyone, and Gordon Ramsay would never... <laughs> I don't, I don't like the tank top. It, it's a hobo suit. You can't be seen in this. I won't allow it. It will be bold, dramatic, heroic. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I almost forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I think 
this character would be an eccentric billionaire who spends all of his money <laughs> on artwork made out of cheese and <laughs> diamonds. <laughs> Wait! Why do I love him? Be my best friend! Find the generator here. I'm gonna draw Vine as a person. So I've always pictured Vine as being like TikTok's older brother. TikTok's loud, chaotic, styling older brother! <laughs> On that note, let me just say I'm making Vine into a ghost. I feel like he really needs to have like Thomas Sanders level of peppy. <laughs> and of course the free Shavakadu. <laughs> Rich, what? there's too many references for me to oh clap! Stop laughing at me! Where'd you get candy? I, don't know. I want candy! <laughs> what the heck, Richard? I'm sorry, I'll get you a sucker. Mm -hmm. I've always thought that like everybody has one Vine video that just represents them as a person. And mine is this. Sweet, it's a jumpsuit. You were fooled. <laughs> What's mine? Oh, don't worry. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, this is you. Stop pooping. <laughs> hey, Rich. What? A potato flew around Vine's go. <laughs> you ready for this? Everybody say hello to Vine. <laughs> and if you need to find him later, just look for the road work ahead. <laughs> and for more finished images, check out my Instagram. What if Disney villains became princesses? And who better to draw than the prince of sarcasm himself? Hades. Honestly, though, I feel like this movie had way more sassy characters than any Disney movie. <laughs> like, we got Hades, we got the Muses, we got Meg, we got Danny DeVito! <laughs> you know, <laughs> I never realized it before, but, uh, Hades looks like a Sharkman hybrid. <laughs> we gotta make her, like, really long, because, you know, every person in that movie looks like they were pulled through a taffy puller. <laughs> Princess Hades be, uh, working this dress, showing Doesn't off some- Doesn't already wear a dress in the movie? Are you talking about his toga? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm just now realizing that Hades' outfit is probably woven from all the different threads of life! <laughs> so Hades, how are things down in the underworld? <laughs> oh, you know, a little sassy, a little moody, a little nasty. <laughs> no, seriously, Hades, you can escort me to the underworld just fine. <laughs> For more finished images, check out my Instagram. I'm gonna turn a random photo into a character, and you're gonna help. Huh? Go on to the internet webs and find me a person to draw. What kind of person? Any kind of person! Rich, it's been 30 minutes. <laughs> the internet is filled with people! Why, why did you choose this one? You have the same hat. What? Oh my god! Alright, we're drawing Floppy Hat Lady. Don't ask me why, but I think her name would be Maisel. And we gotta give Maisel some serious lips. <laughs> like, you go girl! Okay, this drawing is actually really making me want to travel, but, <laughs> you know, not gonna happen. Oh. Oh, coronavirus, why did you have to happen? Now nobody can travel and we're all stuck inside. It really sucks. Oh, I'm slowly losing my mind. Rich, when did you put my hat on? I don't know for a while. You didn't notice. Are you going to put it back? No, it's mine. I look pretty. Oh my God, I'm never going to get this done if you're around. That took way longer than it should have, but here's Maisel. There, are you happy? What if Disney villains became princesses? And today, it's everyone's favorite guy, Gaston! Okay, I'm gonna level with you guys. I can't really draw muscles. And that is all this man is about! He's like the textbook definition of Sewol. When I was a lass, I did five dozen squats every morning to help me get sick. And now that I'm grown, I do six dozen squats, so my butt is as Oh my god. <laughs> Waking everyone up at six in the morning to go to the gym, but then take everyone out for a lovely Sunday brunch afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, serious note, okay. serious note. We need more buff princesses. <laughs> buff women are not unattractive, no, no. You, sir, are just a coward. Are you guys ready for the glory that is Princess Gaston? I've fallen in love. That's all there is to it. I've fallen in love. What if depression was alive? Or. More specifically, what if my depression were alive? Now, I'm not gonna draw my depression as like this big scary monster. Because, you know, I don't think of him as a monster. I just think of him as kind of a lonely little guy who could use a hug. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. What about me? I'm here. Two can be <laughs> What? <laughs> when I am feeling depressed, I tend to feel a little bit fragile and breakable. So I'm gonna make this guy out of glass. I also tend to kind of overthink things and uh, dwell on the past, so I'm going to give this guy some major baggage. And uh, I don't know about all of you, but when I'm depressed, I like to put on a pair of comfy socks. <laughs> and he's going to have two faces because sometimes my feelings are a little complicated. You know, I probably should add, I am not a professional in this department. I am not Dr. Phil, but... You know he has a TikTok. 
Dr. Phil has a TikTok? Yeah. Hey, uh, Dr. Phil, you want to weigh in on this? But in the meantime, say hello to my depression. I'll give him a hug. I'm going to draw a wink as a person. I've drawn YouTube, TikTok, and a whole lot of other apps as people. And the people over at Wink <laughs> have asked me to try drawing their app. <laughs> so from what I gather, Wink is basically like friendship Tinder. And by that, I mean that you swipe left for people that you don't want to be friends with and right for people that you do want to be friends with. So here's what I'm thinking. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to make the Wink app into basically the physical embodiment of a BFF. <laughs> we're talking friendship necklaces, friendship bracelets, even a friendship fanny pack. What the heck is a friendship fanny pack? <laughs> what? You didn't have those? <laughs> Smart guy? She could be winking. <laughs> oh, she could be winking? Oh, she could be winking? Are you sure? <laughs> wow, Rich, what a revolutionary idea. All credit goes to me. <laughs> All right, just gotta fill in those nice wink colors. And there we go. Everybody say hi to the wink app. You're super bestie. I'm gonna draw Google as a person. So I picture him as kind of like a short middle-aged nerd. <laughs> like he would just like pop up out of nowhere. You're like, you're sitting on the toilet and he's just like, hey, I got some science for you. <laughs> he's always there when you need him, I guess. And he knows the facts. Like he can tell you about mathematics, astronomy, which cat has the cutest paws. <laughs> I can tell you about that. <laughs> you can tell me about, are you Google? I'm Google. <laughs> Now the real question is how is he carting around all his knowledge and I think he'd have just a giant book on his back that he carries everywhere. Does he have a book about cats? <laughs> really? I also feel like he'd be like the kind of guy who would tell dad jokes. You know, he's, he's a dadly fellow. <laughs> oh, I'm just digging these red pants. I need red pants now. You know, he's got, he's got a very simple design. He doesn't need a lot of gussying up. Everyone got their questions ready? <laughs> Good, because he's here to answer all your questions. <laughs> draw something random with a brand new generator <gasps> and who will our first character be tinkerbell all right tinkerbell who you fused with penny <laughs> this is gonna be terrifying <laughs> so the point of this generator is to is to take two separate characters and just fuse them in perfect combination just right down the middle so that means it's my job to find the perfect combination between an adorable fairy and a terrifying clown <laughs> think that uh that penny bell or or tinker wise whichever one you want to go for would have a nice ruffly skirt okay wait hear me out she doesn't talk yeah right yeah and he's a clown right together they make a mime <laughs> oh i think she's about as ready as she's ever gonna be what terrifying nightmare creature have i created oh tinker wise you never should have existed and if you guys want to try out the brand new generator you can find it in my bio I just gotta know, what if Disney villains became princesses? We got Jafar, Hades, Gaston, and now... Are you ready <laughs> for the Shadow Man? I can't think of a more appropriate character to be drawing for the spooky season. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking a nice 20s flapper style for this princess. And you know, I think the Shadow Man would like a nice big feather boa. <laughs> I mean, look at the boa he put Tiana in. I mean, my god, girl. <laughs> Rich, buy me a boa. <laughs> For what? What do you mean for what? We don't go anywhere. Well, we should. I don't think I need a reason to look fabulous, Richard. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. The Shadow Princess would be like reading all the other princesses' fortunes and tell them that they don't need no man to make them happy. Especially not a man who denies them a feather bow wow. Shadow Princess, you and me going trick-or-treating, except, you know, not, not this year, because oh. I'm 14 and... Cause I'm 26. <laughs> Introducing your new princess of the shadows. Look at her. She'll put a spell on you. Rich and I are gonna have a friendly competition and ask ourselves, what if Fiverr was alive? In the time it takes Rich to finish this workout, which we purchased from a freelancer at Fiverr, I have to draw Fiverr as a person. Okay, the first one to finish yeah. wins. Okay. Are you ready? All right. You set? Yeah. Go. Uh -huh. Okay, so I started. Rich, what are you doing? <laughs> Okay. Basically, Fiverr's like this collection of different freelancers that you can hire to do different things like music and art and computer stuff uh, and I exercising. Don't, I don't know if I'm doing it right. <laughs> what are you trying to do? It's called dead bugs. <laughs> yep, seems about right. So isn't this app sort of like a jack of all trades? I'm going to give her all these different arms because she's got to be good at everything. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm on her uh, hair. I'm making it really big because I think that's where she stores all of her knowledge. Uh, Rich! So much grunting! I'm done! <laughs> Did you finish? No. I win! What do you guys think?
think of five. I'm gonna draw Disney Plus as a person. So I know you might be thinking, I'm gonna make Disney Plus into a princess, but you would be wrong. You'd be so wrong. I picture Disney Plus as like this big strong man who could crush you if he wanted to, but also has a sensitive side. You know, someone who's not afraid to cry when Andy leaves Buzz and Woody behind. You know, someone like, like that. What? And yes, I'm putting him in a Snow White outfit. Why is it too small for him? Because he can't fit into it anymore. <laughs> it was his first movie! Give him a break! Disney made Snow White when it was but a wee lad! But you know, Disney Plus isn't all about Disney. We got Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and National <laughs> Geographic. What percentage of you guys got it for the National Geographic? Come on over and watch Disney Plus, built for nostalgia, comfort, and apparently to educate. <laughs> oh my god, I think he's ready. Are y'all ready for a movie night? Because it's time to hunker down with some Disney Plus. He's my new movie buddy. I can't really bite it. <gasps> Fucking dumbass!